Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzlefruit, and welcome back to Minecraft, where we are back next to our little Ender uh, City type, no, not Ender, uh, Nether type city, uh, where I've been putting in some new stuff, so let's have a look at it. Uh, it's been a long time that I've been messing around on this bit, and what I've been trying to do, I felt like um, the, the warped forest in this needed a sort of... A, a, a more dramatic method of spreading around the place. So what I've done is I put these massive bone fingers all over around this uh, this area, and I put this uh, bit of warped um, stuff. I can't remember what type of warped stuff that is. I haven't got any, so I'll just have to assume it's just warped stuff. What is it? It is. Uh, okay, warped wart block. Warp, warp, that's difficult to say. Warped, wart, block. That stuff. I've, I've tried to make it look as if that's like a film that the uh, that the bones are dragging out across the land, and they're using the, they're just dragging it everywhere, and and that's creating this in its wake as a uh, as a thing. It's taken me a long time to put all of this down and this is uh, this is basically just netherrack that's been bone mealed and obviously I've had to make a, 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 a place to make loads of bone meal to actually get this working. I'm very carefully circling what I've been building uh, and that is to say that I've added a large temple uh, to the uh, to the structures over here so we had this little little tiny weeny town that i was work that i'd been working on before and that's not changed any it's just exactly the same apart from i put a few more of these uh, a few more of these in which weren't there before uh, and now i've spent a long time building this thing with um oh what's this stuff this is basalt uh, and the black stone and i've tried to make it in some sort of interesting way so i've added a little uh, little uh, roofs to that bit over every single one of these um, archways uh, and there's there's archways throughout so it's it's really quite a complex structure um, which it's it took ages and I've put uh, put nice black windows in I didn't want to put the sort of plain normal windows in because I thought that it wouldn't fit the structure but uh, the black windows are absolutely fine and what I did is I just did these massive arches with the uh, with the basalt, and then I just filled them in in whatever pattern I felt would make a nice a nice look to it, uh, and tried to mix up the various things. I've also added um, walls in to make pillars, to make it so that the walls are not all just the the one meter block that the uh, that we're used to. Uh, so that's that's. Taking things from my previous build, I forget which build it was now. It was probably these. It's probably those. Yeah. Uh, so let's go inside and see what we've been up to in here. Now, what I've done is I've separated this place out into three um, big, big areas. Uh, there's one on that side. This, this is exactly the same as this on the other side. Uh, and I've, I've tried to make the floor a little bit more interesting by mixing it up in a pattern to uh, to make it so that it's not just all a flat floor. But it is sort of as if it's just all stone all the way. I know that it's quite harsh, uh, a light colour going against the dark walls. But uh, I thought that it would be nice because it's a floor and it's just it just feels right. Uh, then there's the... Um, more of this warped stuff around here, making this separation between the, the points. But I didn't want to separate it in a way that you couldn't see through. So I've made it so that you can actually see through, but uh, you, it's 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 sort of airflow, you know? You, you've got loads of airflow going through here, but you, at the same time you feel separate. I don't know what to put in here. If you have any ideas of what I should put in these little side areas around, I mean, I'd, I'd contemplated putting sort of tombs down and, and putting little tombstones all the way along uh, as if it was like the area with all the tombs in it. Um, but uh, I, I just couldn't get the tombs to look right. I tried um, 
to use slabs and blocks. So I had a, a block, uh, well, two blocks out in a, in a set, and then I had two slabs over the top of them, uh, and it just it just didn't look right. It was just too tall, I think. Maybe if I did four and then the two slabs? I don't know. Have I got any slabs? No, I'm not going to any slabs. Okay, but uh, what I have done for this little area with its massive vaulted ceiling, and I can tell you the vaulted ceiling took a very long time. It's just all stairs. Uh, and uh, we've put fancy blocks and some uh, and some walls against these basalt pillars uh, to make uh, a nice, strong-looking, sturdy, uh, sturdy foundation for it. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's come out looking quite nice. It took a very long time, but it's it's come out looking nice. And I put this nice big light in the middle because I thought this is like the heart of the place, and at the heart, massive light. Uh, because I actually want to, uh, despite the fact I've used like dark black stone and such for all of, for a lot of the structure, I wanted this to be a temple of light, believe it or not. So yeah, this is the temple of light, and hence it has a very light heart in the middle of it to uh, to to give it that sort of I'm a temple of light feel, despite the fact it's it's mostly mostly darkness. I might put these on on. Um, walls so that they're actually like up a bit and, and more dramatic anyhow there is an upstairs and in the upstairs i've been putting uh bookshelves and stuff to make it into a proper library so in here we've got a little room for uh sleeping in if uh, if it gets to night and i've got another one copied on the other side so this this is just one room and then over here we have an, another room it's not got the bed in it yet but uh, it will do at some stage this is the roofing on the outside uh, and then each one of these has got its own little window over here uh, and this goes out over the salmon village at the other side there's some windows at the back not not massive windows they're only they're only small uh, and then we've got some more we've got a little eating area i think here it's either eating area it's, it's a meeting or eating area so either either meeting or eating uh, and that's uh, that's just for people to sit down in this corner i mean if there's a lot of books around then people are going to be reading all over the place and this is just one of those places uh, I put some a, a, a barrel and one of these in. This is like a composter, but uh, it just looks like a box. So you know, it's a box. I suppose I could put a a, a lid on that by by just putting a trapdoor on the top. Hmm, that's a thought. I might consider that. Not a bad idea. Anyhow, so uh, yeah, we've got books everywhere. I've put uh, more barrels about to make it uh, make it more cluttered looking. Uh, and uh, over here we've got a nice little desk for someone of uh, of standing to sit there and give out information about various books and stuff in the uh, in the place. Uh, and and I, I definitely need to add more bookshelves. This is just not enough bookshelves. This is all I could afford because I've been buying these bookshelves off the villages, uh, and uh, uh, this is this is all that I could get in in the time because obviously you can only do about twelve trades with the bookshelves before they run out of bookshelves and then they don't trade with you until the next day. So. I need to get buying more bookshelves, and obviously I've spread more of these lanterns over the place to uh, to again consider consider the amount of clutter. Oh, there's a uh, thingy in here, but nothing else. I don't know what I'm going to do with these. If you can think of anything to stick in this roof space, uh, then then do tell me. I mean, it was a great place for just building up loads of uh, chests and and storage, but uh, it, I don't know. I don't know whether that's interesting enough for the area i'll just have to think about it uh, and again obviously it's on the other side now there is a massive tower here and this tower goes all the way to the top uh, and what i'm planning on doing is uh when i've all right it's uh, it's sundown oh dear i'll have to go for a rest um but uh I, I, I built this so that I could make a massive sort of light at the top uh, and I put this uh, this white area for the very top thing it looks like a clock face it really looks like a clock face now if you look at it from the outside but uh, it's not going to be a clock face it's going to be a sort of massive light I was thinking you know the um, the oh what's it called now Arrgh. there's a statue why do I not know this thing's name? 
the Statue of Liberty, that's the one. Uh, if you if you have the Statue of Liberty, it's got a massive torch on it. And I was thinking that this could be a great place for a massive a massive torch. So uh, I've been collecting glowstone and, uh, and, and various other lighting products. Uh, and I might put a massive um, torch on the top of there. Or I might just make some sort of big square structure or something like that. I'm going to do something with that. Which is going to make it more interesting than just a uh, just a clock tower. Although there's nothing wrong with a clock tower, it just I want it to be more dramatic. Hmm. I could have spawned anything in here whilst I was uh, doing that. Yes, there's a spider. Go away, spider. I don't want you in here. Get out. Now what else is around? I can hear something. I'm a little bit worried that this might spawn. Um, Oh, what are they from the from the nether? The skeletons and oh, the wither. That's the one. I'm a little bit worried that this might spawn wither skeletons because it's uh, it's actually all this stuff, and this stuff spawns wither skeletons. Anyhow, there's our tower. As I said, it looks like a clock face at the moment, so I'm really going to work on that to try and make it not look like a clock face. Uh, and in the meanwhile, I fancy going over there. I've had this woolen mansion on my on my radar since the beginning, uh, and I fancy going over there because I've just not done it. And I've never been to one of these places before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, grab some torches. And then I'm going to go and head over there. And I shall see you at the Woolen Mansion. So, see you at the Woolen Mansion. I can't believe it. I walked out of the blooming place. And a creeper was right in front of me. And it blew up and took out this uh, this this bit at the front. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't seem to have... It doesn't seem to have taken out too much. It's like taking out a tiny bit of the uh, of the side. And this, this front patch. So I shall, I shall just mend that no problem. Right, we're on the road to the Woolen Mansion. I just put this road in right really early on in the game. Uh, and so it just goes straight there without a problem. In fact, I think it might stop just short of the Woolen Mansion. I'm not sure. You can see our... Uh, our I, I want to call it a clock tower every time now, but uh, it's not a clock tower. It is definitely going to be a light torch thing over there uh, but uh, at the moment still still looking like a clock tower we've got to go through the dark forest because these are always in a dark forest i found a savannah earlier and so i've spread these um, acacia trees i think they are all over the place uh, and they're looking quite nice oh hello i've obviously carved my way through some uh, some stuff over here this is like the first building I've made in the, in um, this particular world. Well, one of them anyway. Definitely wasn't the first building because the first building was our, uh, our um, salmon village. So anyway, I've been collecting these as well and putting them around my uh, my my buildings because it's it they just look lovely. Let's get rid of that. I don't want bits of dirt all over my nice clean path. Nah. Anyhow, continuing on through this 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 forest, I could do with putting loads of stuff uh, on this route because at the moment it's looking pretty barren, uh, and I like to try and make all of the little roads that have uh, gone along more interesting, so that they're just they're not just dull dull roads. How have you got there? Anyway, hi hi. The path ends. That's weird. <laughs> I would have thought this I'd have done this all the way across. Hmm. Maybe I ran out of an ability to do that. Oh well. I knew it didn't go all the way up to the uh, to the place, so uh, yeah, that must be where it just ended. Yeah. We'll just have to go on foot from here. Well, not that we weren't going on foot to begin with. Ooh, that was a big jump. Right. Here we have it. I have brought a lot of torches. Because I suspect that this place is going to be horrendously lethal. As such, lots of torches. Is it off the ground? Where's the entrance? Is the entrance on this side? Hmm. That is a good question. I do not know. I guess the entrance could be anywhere I put it, really. Because I could just, I could just build up there, couldn't I? Yes, let's do this. Because... We need an entrance, so let's put some lights there, and then go in. 
Oh, lovely. <laughs> Straight into stone. Okay, so let's dig through that. Hmm. Inside a cell, by the looks of it. Okay. Ah, yes, I hear you. <laughs> you probably don't expect me to walk into the one place that's locked around the place, though. <laughs> All right. Let's break through this. There's going to be a lot of lighting rooms, that's for sure. Okay, so let's get this really lit quickly. Are these all just cells? Yeah. All just cells. Okay, let's light them up. What What would appear in here? I mean, I guess anything could appear in here. You could get zombies or, uh, or spiders or whatever. Mm. Definitely not enough light around. I can shoot things because I have a wonderful bow. What's that area? This is awesome. I'm going. I, I might like take this place and um, improve it by adding loads of extra lights and 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 just. I might just improve it. I might go through and and, and add other stuff. There's all these interesting things that they've done with the walls. Just patterns everywhere. Okay, continue to light the place. It is mighty dark. Good. Whoa, that is a high chair. I mean, wow. <laughs> Plump pots, good. At least this is a little bit more normal. Just normal seats with a little table. Ah, uh, sheep. Yeah. Okay, we're going to run out of torches very quick on this one. Okay, there's a main staircase over here. Ah, the main entrance. Why couldn't I find you? Oh, hello, sheep. It's going to night again. Hmm, that happened pretty quickly. Ah, these are stairs, so I can't actually put any torches on those. I can put them just at the back here. It's an interesting way of doing stairs. I might have to consider that for future. That's not bad. I like that. Hmm. <laughs> I've never done stairs like that, so I just do them simple. Simple stairs! Easy way. Okay. So we've, we've looked at like one room over there. We had the uh, the the um, sort of what would you call them? Dungeons around the other side. Ah, an altar for this flower. Was that flower really that important? Apparently so. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna be able to count my torches because I've only got I've only got a certain number of torches and then we're out of torches and that's gonna be making this place far more dangerous. It's already quite dangerous because it's turned to night. I don't know whether the um whether the illages require it to be dark or not. If they don't, then this place could be uh, could be a bad place for me. Regardless of uh, of all of these torches, I don't know. Right, interesting. This is sort of just a, a planting area. It's just a load of. Um, uh, are those jungle trees? What type are they? Dark oak. Okay. Right. Well, that makes sense. They are in the dark oak forest. What's in this? More dark oak. Okay. We have loads of dark oak now. I can I can make my own little dark oak forest. Nice. Hmm. That feels like it probably goes straight through. Although we have no entrance to that bit. Maybe you have to go all the way round the other side to actually get to that bit. It does. It goes round here. Yes. Okay. So they're they're ways up. And back here. That's the dungeon that we went to. I don't know where that uh, that illager went. Now, I believe that this room, although it's got a lot of chests in it, I believe that the um, chests are all empty. Yeah. <laughs> Which is a shame. And if you want a lot of chests, I guess this is a great place to get a lot of chests. So, hello. You are the first. The first monster that's actually attacked us in here. Right. Let's get rid of that. Go up. More stuff. Yeah, all empty chests. All empty chests. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> I've watched a few things on this uh, this place, but never been to one. Hmm. Okay, let's throw more lights up. 
I guess it would make a nice base if it wasn't for the fact that it's full of villages, you know? And I wonder what's making them spawn here. I mean, there's no actual villager spawners, as far as I'm aware. So it must just be that a, uh, a, a one of these places generates villagers. Oh, it wasn't an villager at all. It's just a skeleton. There you go. Brilliant. Oh, hello. Uh, I wasn't ready for you. <laughs> Stay back. Stay back. Good. Bit more, uh, bit more experience. I can't eat, so I'm obviously full on, full on food. Ah, they have their own, their own tree in here. That's nice. That must mean a very high ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> or a slightly high ceiling. What's this then? Is it a bath? It's just a load of water. Interesting. Okay. Maybe it's a bath? I don't know. <laughs> Bit strange. I'm going to need more torches. I really am. This is like just the bottom floor and I've just covered most of the bottom floor so far. I mean, there was another, uh, there was another storage room around here somewhere. Alright, so we've covered most of the bottom floor. Let's head upstairs. We're going to run out of torches real quick. Hang on, wait a minute. I didn't go upstairs at all. What the heck is this doing? <laughs> that, that's not taking me upstairs. It's just taking me up and down and up and down. And Oh, now it's taking me... No, it's not. All that to get to a chest? Interesting. Music and gunpowder. And some uh, some bones. And a bit of that for, uh, for, making, for making some bread if I want it. That's weird. Okay, I don't know whether I want to go all the way around there again. <laughs> uh, okay, up and down. I feel like there might be hidden stuff underneath these stairs. There's quite a lot of stairs there. How weird. Okay, and there was another one down there as well. So there's there's two of those. Hmm. Is this one equally as strange? Most likely, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Most likely equally as weird. Okay. Well, that I wasn't expecting at all. Hmm. Might have to dig my way out of this one. Oh, nice. A full chain mail. It's quite difficult to get the uh, the chain chest plate because uh, it's usually um, something that's... It's... Um, you, you get it from skeletons quite often or, uh, or zombies. But you get one that's really broken and uh, and that you just don't feel like there's any point in it. So yeah, it's uh, it's quite difficult to get a, a, a fully mended one that you can actually use. Uh, so yeah, we've got one of those now. Wonderful. Oh, I don't even know how that worked. I don't know where that ended up. Okay, so really we're ready for heading upstairs, but... I don't have too many torches for it, so we might not be able to get much of this floor done. No, I can see a... I can see a... Yeah. Hello there, spider. Hi, spider. It's getting quite far up the wall. Oh, hello. Go away. Thank you. Okay. Now, there should be loads of villages up here. It's raining outside as well. So they've upped the spooky value of this place considerably in here. Massive archway. Not sure why, but we do have a massive archway. <laughs> it's surprisingly less less dangerous than I expected. I thought that this place would be, like, totally the most dangerous place to be. Excuse me, I'm going to run away from that. You go away. Be gone. I've had enough of you. <laughs> I really don't like creepers. They are one of my least favourites. Mainly because they just destroy everything I make, which is really annoying. This looks like it was supposed to contain something. Why can't I go in there? Do I have to open both? I have to open both. Interesting. Okay. I don't get that. One floating cage. Never mind. <laughs> floating cage it is. Is there anything up here? No. Oh, there's a, uh, there's a chest. Excellent. So, this is like a, a, a fighting ring or something, isn't it? Mm. Let's see what's in here. Another one of those! Awesome! Okay, we've got two of those now. And we have another disc. Is that the same disc as that one? 
Let's see, it's 13. Yeah, we've got 13 already. Rats! Okay, never mind. <laughs> we'll have to just try and get more discs another time. But, unfortunately, I am all out of uh, torches. So I'm going to have to go back and get some more torches. And come back to this place in another episode. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.